YouTube. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, link is in the description. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. Even though in this video, I would be talking about Derek Jackson. All right. Today, I'm going to be talking about the controversy that's going on with Derek Jackson. Okay, it seems like I don't know the stories. Everything is all allegedly. I've watched his side of the story and I've watched the side where bloggers are talking. It seems like two girls have came out and said that he was cheating on his wife with them. As well as he, on his end, he's saying that him and his woman was going through a breakup and the relationship has been rocky for a while now. And they've went through multiple series of separation that she filed for divorce and then they started working out and then the girl came out and said this all right first thing that i want to tell you it shows you the nature of a woman on both ends that's the first thing that i want you to learn from first of all his mistake all right and his mistake his mistake was ignoring woman's nature what he's learning from this is that the content that he's been putting out has pretty much came back and bit him. All right. Everything that us guys have been saying, that's completely opposite of him because he's known as the simp God. He's been getting behind women, putting them on a the pedestal. And we've all been watching him simp from afar. Well, right now, everything that's happening with him it's all the warning signs that we've been given to you guys that he failed to ignore. All right. We're going to first start off with this guy being married. All right. We're not going to even get to the side chick girls that are coming out. We're going to first start off with him being married. And you have to look at his marriage and you have to look at his brand. All right. His brand as the guy that's giving women confidence, giving them game to 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 help them pick out a husband, all right? That's what he's been known for as the simp god. But he's also placed a fairy tale inside a woman's minds. What do I mean? See, he fell for a woman that wasn't quite on top of her game. She wasn't all that good looking, but he was the prize. He had the popularity. He had the notoriety, but he also had the look. Derek Jackson is not a ugly looking guy by far, but his wife is not that good looking as well. That's where his popularity expanded because it gives a lot of false hope to women out there who may not be as good looking or who may not be up to par to compete with other girls that are especially younger than them. His case is very, very, very rare. All right. It's very rare for a good looking guy to fall for an average woman. It's not as rare as people may think it is, but it is a rarity off of the common person eye. From my experience, a lot of the good guys that I know that were very good looking and had it together all settled for average women. So what Derek did do was an alpha male trait. Typically good looking alpha males, they do go for normal looking women. But that played all into his brand. His popularity went up and everybody said, oh, I too, that's what all the women said. I too can be a, 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 a overweight woman and not that good looking and end up with a good looking guy like Derek Jackson that's going to worship me and treat me good. That's where the fairy tale was with him. All right. But he had to keep up with that fairy tale. And the reason why he had to keep up with that fairy tale is because it made him extremely rich. All right. The fairy tale had to always be going on because it made him extremely rich. And that's what he was known for. But behind the scenes, woman nature kicked in. That means that he was still a simp. He wasn't an alpha male. Everything else that he was doing was simpish. So it only looked good on surface. But behind the scenes, that woman was driving him mad. Why? Because he was trying to be too good of a guy. Trying to be too good of a guy to the point where 
they had to break up on multiple occasions, right? Multiple occasions and get back together. That's where the second chick comes in at. See, the second chick, like he said, was somebody that he'd known as a friend for a long time. A female friend that he'd known for a long time. So he wouldn't even expect her to do this based off the time that him and her were messing around or were talking with during the time where him and his wife were separated. All right. What are you learning from the side chick that's coming out saying that, hey, he's with me? Women will destroy you whenever they can't get anything out of you that they want. That's what you have to learn from Derrick Jackson's situation with the side chick. Because the side chick looks better than the wife. But the side chick is also a baby mother herself. But she's showing you she couldn't even be quiet and try to keep it on the low and low and maybe collect something on the back end, which means that he probably wasn't giving her no hush money. All right. When side chicks are getting good hush money, they try to maintain being a side chick for the longest. Like if you go and look at like, remember when like. Housewives of Atlanta was popular and the only white girl on there, Kim, was the only woman that wasn't married for years but had the biggest houses and the most cars because she was a side chick and she admitted that she's a side chick and she got paid very, very, very good money just for hush money. Okay, what you're seeing in Derrick Jackson's situation is he had a side chick that he thought was very good friends with him and thought that they was cool, but he wasn't breaking her off. Because I can guarantee you this, this side chick stuff got back to the wife before it got to public. That's why him and his wife got back together and tried to work it out. That's why his wife didn't really want to move on all the way because she knew like, all right, Derek's the prize. He's going to run out there and he's going to get another girl just as fast. So just as much as he was being beta and started to annoy his woman of being beta. And you know how women are when they have a beta male, they talk to him like he ain't nothing. So she started talking to Derek like he wasn't nothing. Derek said, I ain't going for that. My name is Derek Jackson. I could get a woman right away. Matter of fact, I know another baby mama too that looked better than you that I could be with. That's when the side chick came in. But he didn't tell his wife that. He just went to go have a good time in Miami. He just went to go have a good time, test the waters, just seeing exactly is his name really. Yeah, he got inside. He got inside. He got inside his feelings. But the more he got out there, like he said, he was smoking weed. He was drinking. He was doing it all. Miami will cause you to do that, though. If you've been to Miami. I'm from Miami. Trust me. I know exactly what he was going through. So woman's nature kicked in on both ends. The nature with his wife is that he was being the beta. He gave her the princess. He put her on top of the book. He put her on the pedestal when she didn't deserve it because deep down inside, she knew that she wasn't that princess. She knew she wasn't the, the best woman of his life. But when a woman doesn't believe that she's the princess that she's treating you, that you're treating her, she loses respect for you. So woman's nature on the wife end he was a beta too much. He made a book about it. He put their relationship on a pedestal so everybody could see it. And she lost respect for him. But on the cheating side, when it comes to the side chick, she's willing to play the role. But she just couldn't get to the money. She couldn't get the payout. So she looked at it like, oh, I'm over here messing with this dude. I'm doing all this. and He can't even take care of me. Look at Lil Baby, the rapper. That girl bragged about making $8,000 just to sleep with him in one night. That's what all these girls got it now. All these women are like, yo, if you want me to be that side girl for you and do all this nasty stuff, you're going to have to come up off some bread. He thought those girls were his friends because he took his popularity for granted. That's what's happening in Derek um, Jackson's situation. He's showing you in woman's nature, the rich guy. The poor guy and the middle class guy tells her the same thing. So as soon as Derek started acting like a beta, even to the side chick, she lost respect for him and it became about money. The only reason why the wife is back and trying to work it out now 
it's because she heard that he already had a side chick. And what she say? Oh, he ain't that beta dude I thought he was. He's not completely in love with me. Let me go and get that man back. That's what happens. She knew he was going to move on fast. But the whole time he had his wife on the cover of his book and just putting on a pedestal, she was losing respect. And she didn't start respecting him till he got a side chick. And the side chick stayed there till she didn't get any money. And the wife came back into the picture. Now you're seeing revenge. It's called woman's nature. Derek Jackson is going to be reflecting on everything that he's doing in life. Like he said, I started, I started, I didn't believe in God. I didn't believe in this. He was confused. A woman had his had him confused. He's gonna be more confused after this. Way more confused after this. Because now, now you don't know who to support, big dog. The women that you're glorifying are trying to destroy you. Not men, it's women trying to destroy you. This is Anthony Spade, bro. Comment, like, subscribe to every channel. My channel, AMS channel, um, um, Coach Greg Adams, Kevin Samuels, O'Shea Du Jackson, Stuff's Cold. And if I forgot you, I still, I got you. Um, Alfie Pod, Kingdom Podcast, Aben Preach, Mediocre Tutorials. The list, man, there's so many good ones out here now, man. I'm trying to think of who, if I forgot you, my bad. But y'all need to subscribe to all of us so you, you don't end up like Derrick Jackson. If it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. Hasta la vista.